boy do I have a treat for y'all I, I went digging I went digging to see what manga that I typically don't see can I find for y'all okay so let's get straight into what we have to offer for you guys I I really went looking for you know manga that I don't typically see so we have a varied selection today and I'm going to start us off with our first series series which is going to be Demon Slayer I'm in the final arc in my reread and so why am I doing this like this is an ASMR video I, maybe, I'll do, I should do, I'll do a manga ASMR video, maybe, maybe on a, a new channel, because, you know, I don't know if this should become an ASMR channel, but first we have volume 17 with Genya on the front page, um, this is the final arc with the fight against Muzan, which I'm pretty sure is like several volumes, because it started in like the last volume I was reading, and it's definitely in these two, so it's definitely in like four or five volumes. Y'all, I'm almost done with the reread. I think it ends at what, like 22, 23? So yeah, here we are, volume 17. Exciting. Y'all, I wish the training arc was longer, but I understand that that was just like short-term training while, you know, Muzan is on his way. But I definitely wish that I could see more of the shenanigans of Tanjiro going through the trainings and most of the, you know, Hashira having trouble not liking him. Except for Obanai, but I mean, we know why. Obanai and who else was harsh? Was it Genya? I think Genya was also harsh because he still doesn't. Well, I don't think he, no, he didn't even go to Genya. Or he did. I, I he went to Genya, but I, that's, and leave there or did he not I'm pretty sure he did guys yeah anyways and then on 18 we have Kano 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 yeah um Kano on the front page I don't remember if that's her name or not I know who she is but this is 18 and yeah I'm almost done with my demon slayer reread and then I'll just you know I'll be done. Oh, I don't even know if I want to read the ending because I remember how bad it was. Depressing. Depressing. Um, you know, one day I'd like to start some sort of a petition or something to reduce the amount of waste, paper waste, that the library has. At my library, they did have, like, a collection bin for the rubber bands, but for these little printout things, like, isn't there a better way we can do this? Because, you know, it makes me feel bad for checking out the books, and I don't want to feel bad for checking them out. So, if you watched my top 10 anime ever video, I have an anime here that I mentioned here that I have never gotten the manga for, and I unfortunately only have volume 2 because volume 1 didn't come in time, but boy am I excited. I want to introduce you guys, if you didn't watch that video, which you definitely should if you need some anime recommendations high score girl which is my one of my absolute favorite rom-coms it's in my like top three i adore high score girl um if you need a quick you know debrief two kids both are obsessed with video games in the 1980s 90s where it's starting to become really popular in japan with the different arcade systems that are coming out she, rich, you know, well-educated girl who doesn't talk, is way better than him, and what starts as a rivalry just really starts to grow. I love its art style. I think arc, art style. I think it's unique, and I know that there's a sequel out that focuses on one of the rival love interests, and so the two love interests in this don't appear in that. And yeah, I mean. I love, I love High Score Girl. I'm so excited to read the manga. Yes, I know absolutely everything that happens because I watched every season of the anime. Do I look like I care? Absolutely not. And I just, I love how creative it is. Like, look at the, the table of contents. It looks like video game. You see that? You, you see that? 10 credit, 11 credit, 12 credit. 
I love manga that are crea creative with like the way that they name their chapters and whatnot. But yeah, I can tell this isn't taken out much. Look how look how shimmery it is. But I'm excited. I'm gonna wait for one to come so I can read both. And then I really ate with this one. I really ate with this one. I don't know what told me to look for this manga, but I was like, it's a movie, so I don't know if they will have it. Y'all, tell me why I pulled up with the I Want to Eat Your Pank Pancreas, the complete manga collection. Please tell me why I whipped the... Why is this looking like a berserk? Like, golly! God, this the whole movie! This the whole movie in a book. Imagine if the Silent Voice manga was like this. It's not. It's in like individual volumes. But God damn. God damn. You know that one audio? It's like God damn. God damn. God damn. God damn. <laughs> yeah, I didn't take it off of that. But yeah, the art style looks like the movies. Please focus. It's really pretty. It's guys. Guys. Guys, I'm about to cry over over manga right now. I'm so excited! I didn't know this was like a thing. It was an option. It's I didn't know it was something in existence. But yeah. Uh, ooh, twenty dollars. Crazy. It, it's not crazy. It's huge. Um, a bittersweet romance in this deeply moving first-person story. An introverted high school boy finds his classmate's diary and learns her biggest secret. Yamuchi. Sakura is dying from a pancreatic disease and now he's the only person outside her family to know the truth. The last thing the boy wants is to be her friend, but Sakura's cheerful demeanor and their shared secret draw them together in this heart-running tale of friendship and mortality. The movie is very well known and is very sad, so I highly recommend you watch it. Now I need to switch it up with my surprises so I'm going to bring in something that I've mentioned before so that you know I'm not just spoiling all the goodies immediately and that is going to be Jujutsu Kaisen. I have been waiting for this volume like it's literally been on hold for like two several months I think this volume and I mean I can see why my my husband is on the cover. Yeah, yeah, my husband's on the cover. Um, I do not claim him. This is not my husband, but this, love a good salary, man. Love a good salary, man. Um, but yeah, what, what arc is this? Oh, Toji, sorry. I got jump scared by Toji. Anyways, yeah, Gojo is sealed by now. And this is the beginning of the... Oh, what's it called arc? I can't remember the name. Too many arcs. Too many arcs. But he, he's boxed up. That's that's, that's kind of tough. I don't know what to tell you. He boxed up. This one has Sukuna on the cover. Boxed up. If you don't know what I mean by boxed up by now, I don't know what to tell you, baby. Don't know what to tell you. But this is... Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, free Gojo, honestly. I need more chaoticness happening. This- I hate this dude so much. Old dude. Like... Psh, he got what was coming to him, though. <laughs> Ooh, people dying and whatnot. What is this arc called again, y'all? The- The Shibuya arc. The Shibuya arc. Because they're at the Shibuya- Shibuya, they're in there. Y yeah, there we go. I'm here racking my brain. But yeah, that's Jujutsu Kaisen. Let's continue. Next, we're gonna do one of the best Jose, you know, to have graced thine existence. Not, hold on, now let me run that back. Nana, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Volume two and three. Yeah. Mm hmm. I know you're jealous. I know you are. And you know what? Do I feel sorry? Mm, not at all. No, no. I do got to say, they ate with these outfits. On the covers, they kind of ate. Yeah, it's giving. It's giving. The background outfit too. 
or the back cover outfit but yeah guys here I got Nana love one of the really great Jose classics um it's actually been said several times that Nana um Osaki uh black hair Nana set like the trend for a lot of characters in other manga that came out in the following years just because of her style and everything she's like the original emo Je blah, 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 blah. the original Japanese emo girl in manga that you know caused the trend then we have you know these two black people because they are black listen this not this is not a Japanese man y'all I need you to come to terms with it that's not a Japanese man and never will be okay that that is a, you know, I mean I know that I'm pretty sure in the anime it's shown as them being a black couple they may have gotten whitewashed I can't remember off the top of my head but look look at my look, where where'd she go where'd she go she was literally in the first pages literally gay guys 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 they were supposed to be gay 100% supposed to be gay this was not meant to be a straight friendship I don't care what you think this was supposed to be gay just like Naruto and Sasuke that was guys guys I'm not telling you I'm not I mean I'm not asking you to hear me out I'm telling you it, it's, gay. it's gay it's okay to say the word I don't know you might not be able to play this video in Florida but Okay. Now, these last three are all new manga. What should I start with? I'm going to start with this one, which is one that is popular on TikTok, or the artist is popular on TikTok because of uh, another manga that features like mafia, this mafia guy, and this mafia girl, uh, and their kind of toxic relationship. But. I got the messy one, the other mess. This manga could just creates a lot of messy manga. I've noticed that, or it might be a manhua. No, I'm pretty sure it's a manga. Welp, I got Haru's Curse. I, I let me read the brief of this for you, okay? Natsumi's little sister Haru was her whole world, and now she's gone. After the funeral, Natsumi reluctantly agrees to date her sister's fiance, Togo, but as their relationship develops with the passing seasons, Haru's memory lingers over them like a curse. Asuka's Konishi, Asuka Konishi's English language debut is a nuanced and affecting portrait of the conflict between romantic and familial love and of the hard choices that face us all in making our lives our own. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is how you get forced to date your dead sister's fiance is kind of giving messy and then to develop feelings and get together me personally as a ghost me personally I wouldn't let that slide but if it's healthy I'll allow it since it's fiction it's 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 kind of yikes I just did it have to be did it have to be her fiance? I just find that kind of crazy. But if it's healthy, it's healthy. I'm excited to see how messy it is. It's bulky, but that's because it's the entire story in one volume. This one took forever to get here. It was in transit for like a century, and I do not appreciate that. Okay. Next, we have an edgy that I got the idea to get from Poppy Longlegs on Instagram. What do we got? What do we got? It's literally rated OT 16 plus loud. Lo I mean, once I show you. The I don't want to hear nothing. So here I have sweat and soap. Um which is about these two people who work at a toiletry company and one girl's insecure about her sweating and the guy loves the scent of her sweat so he asks to you know sniff her occasionally and it becomes a romantic relationship <laughs> why do i do this to myself 
what am I doing reading this? I don't know. I truly do not know. Am I gonna read it though? Absolutely. Absolutely. I gotta see what's going on in this. I gotta see. I gotta see for myself. I Listen. Listen. Ain't nobody afraid of no etchy. You guys do know I have plus size elf, the physical volume, right? Yeah. And that has bare booby. Bare booby. Bare. Just boom. There. No age warning on the back. Just bare booby. But let's move into our last manga for this video. I lied. This one is not a manga, it's a light novel. Yeah, yeah. I I care about you guys and me so much that I secured a light novel. Let me, whoop, whoop, are you ready for the one? I got the saga of Tanya the <laughs> I don't think I've mentioned how much I'm in love with the anime behind this. There's just something so chef kiss about a proper male girl boss. You know? This is one of the isekai exceptions that are actually good. Like, obviously, there aren't much images to show you because it's the light novel, but this, when I say there are only a few good isekai, I mean this, the time I got reincarnated as a slime, <laughs> no game, no life to an extent, it fell off. Um, what else is an isekai, guys? What's the, the other, oh. Is Shield Hero an Isekai? I feel like it is. If it is, then Shield Hero. But yeah, I mean, I, I want to find one of the images in here. Are, do we have? Are we? Do we have images? I believe we do. We definitely do. I'm gonna pick a random one near the earlier chapters. Look at look at the girl bossery. Look, I love her faces. Tanya is known for her, like her. I'm better than you faces. That's like one of her whole spiels, guys. Oh, is this another picture? Yeah, guys. This I'm gonna enjoy this so much. It just looks good. Like I love a good light novel. I love it. And I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> have I already watched the anime? Sure have. Am I about to devour this light novel? Sure will sure will and i hope you guys are encouraged to maybe check out some of these manga that i'm showing you but once again i want to show you really quickly the paperweights the paperweights go hard and i really just this is not even all of it hold on let's this is all the paperweights and then all my rubber bands yay but yeah Thank you so much for watching this video. I love our manga hauls, guys. I love them. I, there's just something so satisfying about unboxing stuff. And I mean, if you weren't able to tell by this, can I even grab this without them falling? This huge pile of manga. I love a good read. And I'm not going outside again for like the next two weeks because it is high 90s to 100 degrees. You will not be seeing me outside. I will not be touching grass because the grass is dying. Thank you so much for watching.